Story at 5 o'clock, Callis in court. He is accused of beating the Washington Commanders fans following a Ravens game, and now he faces a Baltimore judge. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. That judge ordered John Callis held without bail and says he's a danger to the community. A video of that attack has gone viral. The suspect has been in custody since he turned himself into police two days ago. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live in your corner where the attack happened outside Cross Street Market. And Mike, you're learning new information about the defendant. Nikki Rick, John Callis's lawyer says his client was on a cocaine and alcohol bender when the attack happened here and that he needs treatment. And we've learned it's not the first time he's attacked someone while under the influence. His mom was also in court today. She became emotional but didn't want to talk to us. Do you think prosecutors are handling this case differently because of the viral nature? Um, obviously. <laughs> obviously. The lawyer for 24-year-old John Callis reacts following a judge's ruling that his client will remain behind bars for now. Do we got a straggler? You see Callis in this viral video attacking Washington Commanders fans in Federal Hill October 13th. Because of the graphic nature of what happened, WJZ is not showing the attack itself. We're also not showing the victims' faces. I don't lose! Yeah! You said you believe he was overcharged. I do. I don't believe this is a first degree assault. I believe it's a second degree assault. First degree assault requires serious bodily injury. Charging documents WJZ obtained reveal the viral attack was the second time Callis encountered the victims. Prosecutors say he'd already severely beaten them and they lost personal belongings, including a phone and wallet. The video shows him beating them again when they came back to retrieve those items. I don't lose! Yeah! One victim was knocked unconscious and later diagnosed with a concussion. The prosecutor told the judge the victims were humiliated and fearful that Callis will attack again. The judge called the evidence against Callis strong and said it was clearly an unprovoked assault. She rejected the defense proposal to release Callis on GPS monitoring to an outpatient treatment facility. Danny Smith is with that facility, one promise. Do you think he could benefit from treatment? Are you disappointed certainly. by the judge's decision? Certainly, certainly, certainly. Um, I understand the judge's decision, but I certainly believe he can benefit from recovery. In court, we learned Callis admits to daily cocaine use for the past four years, including the day of the attack. He got probation before judgment for what prosecutors say was an alcohol-fueled assault in Towson in November 2021, where he beat a man unconscious in the middle of York Road. He also received probation in 2020 for another assault, where prosecutors say he was drunk in Delaware. The criminal justice system is designed to both punish but rehabilitate. He's a 24-year-old kid. Um, he clearly has a problem. Uh, he needs help, and I'm trying to get him help. How critical is it to get him some sort of treatment as soon as possible? I think it's very critical, but, it, but it's just as much as for anyone else that finds themselves in these similar situations. Now, the judge did say today that if the defense can find a suitable inpatient treatment facility, she would consider releasing Callis in the future. He's facing a maximum of 55 years behind bars, and coming up all new at 6, we'll tell you how he was identified to law enforcement authorities. For now, we're live in Federal Hill. Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, great coverage. Thank you. We are